What's good, y'all? Welcome to the Big Lottie Gang Podcast. Got a couple of special guests here for today. Now, everybody in this room spent a little bit of time in the league. You know, we grew up playing basketball. And today's question is going to be, who is the toughest player that you had to go up against? Kobe. What kind of question is yeah, going on now? easily Kobe, bro. Oh, everybody. Everybody got the same answer? Oh, okay. All right. So, all right. Let's hear the stories. Let's hear the stories. You know, I was a rookie back when Kobe was on his farewell tour last season in the league. And y'all remember that season, 2016, best season of basketball. No cap. I wasn't getting a lot of playing time back then. Oh, yeah, we know. And, you know, I'm trying to earn my way. Coach puts me in with about 45 seconds left to go in the half. He's like, you're going to guard Kobe to finish out the half. And I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like, I'm, I'm already thinking. I'm ready to go back to my boys back home and tell nah, them, yo, I'm, I'm guarding Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to play it cool. You know, I don't want to be too starstruck. You know, I got a job to do. Uh, and he isos on the post. Gets the ball. Leans back. You know, he does a little, 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 little Kobe Lee, whatever. He said, nah, nah, nah. I got this. We don't even got a scouting report on this scrub. Damn, disrespecting and like now that. now I'm like, yo, like, damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's, I mean, how'd you but respond? But it was right. They didn't, have, they didn't have a scouting report on me. Damn. Kobe takes his one dribble. Mm, mm, goes into the fadeaway. And... I cut my hands. You know, you know, you're not supposed to do that. But hey, I'm I'm gonna try to get this stop, and I basically cover his face like this, and the ref don't see it. He misses the shot. Oh, so you got the stop? Was oh, telling me, oh, good job, good job. You got the stop. You know, we got momentum going into the second half. And you was feeling yourself after that, huh? Cole looks at me and says, "You done fucked up now." Oh, everybody else is going to the locker rooms. Cole stays out. Cole was out there shooting blindfolded fadeaways from that very spot and the trainer was just feeding him like it was like Kobe knew exactly where the ball was gonna be and where the hoop was at all times like I watched him hit like 14 in a row it was crazy Kobe was different man Kobe was different come out in the second half and he gives us 48 in the second half 48 in the second half on nothing but turnaround to the point where by the time he hit the third one he says this shit too easy and starts hitting them with his eyes closed no joke nah, go no back and watch way. the film go back right and watch now, that bro. game it was it was crazy and that's when i knew that's when i knew that's when i knew all right who's next it's crazy you know i was actually teammates with cole back when i was on my 10-day contract i ain't stay in the league that long yeah we know Y'all remember that dunk he had on dwight right oh everybody remembers that come on now so what people don't know is that leading up to that game he was coming off of like a, a sprained ankle something like that and people were saying oh you know Kobe's gonna be straight he's gonna be fine it's nothing but a sprained ankle but you know for a couple of games he might not have that same spring in the step he's not gonna be as bouncy as he was whatever i'm going to the vets and i'm asking yo like i want to get better you know i need to adjust to the league you know can i come work out with you Kobe says, hey, you can come work out with me, young fella. Oh, so you got to work out with him. I bet. I get his contact information. A few hours goes by. I'm in the bed sleep. I get a call. 2.30 in the morning. Kobe says, yo, you still wanted to come work out, right? I said, yeah, but Kobe, it's 2.30 in the morning. He said, you must not want it bad enough. Hung up. Damn. I'm like, oh, I, right. you know, like he, he's serious. Okay, so I get up, put my stuff on. You know, and I grab my bag and I head over to Kobe's. Three o'clock in the morning. That's mad early. He's in a full sweat already. But he wasn't, he wasn't working out yet. What do you mean? What was he me doing then? To the backyard. He got a pet kangaroo. And he is studying the jump styles of a kangaroo. Because you know a kangaroo got bounce. You know what I'm saying? No, and they were saying, no, 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 oh, Kobe not going to have the same bounce no more. He wasn't going for that. So he was studying this kangaroo's jumping style the entire time. And just in a full sweat because he was focusing so hard. I'm on the last day of my 10 day and we playing the magic. Dwight in the paint. And y'all know what happened. Y'all know what happens. Nah, facts. You, know? you can't forget that. And you can't forget yeah, that. Yeah, that's when I knew. That's when I knew. That's when I knew. Hey, man. Boy, it's a different breed. We, we already know. R.I.P. to the Mamba. All right. Last but not least. Not lying. Cole was cut different. Just like your hoodie? I had the privilege of also being his teammate for a little bit. Uh, we playing the game. Where's the rest of your shirt? <laughs> Relax. I guess it doesn't matter. Hi. Right. Playing a game against the Clippers. Struggling. I don't know why. It was just a close game. Five seconds left on the clock. And you already know who the ball is going Rick to. Rick Fox? The play is set up for Kobe to come off of a screen at the elbow. 
and curl for the shot. And we gonna live or die by that shot. Anybody would. Coming out the timeout, and I guess one of the water boys had dropped some water on the floor and nobody really caught it. Now, where was the towel boy throughout all of this? It, I mean, what can you do? Clean it up. Kobe is coming off the screen, and as he's coming off the screen, he slips. Oh no. And the ball winds up in the hands of Derek Fisher. Oh God, no. Fish says, fuck it. Puts up the shot, banks it in, we win the game. Hey. Everybody is up celebrating, except for Cole. We getting ready to go on break anyway, so we like, oh, it's not a big deal. He like, nah, I'm gonna I'm a catch you later. We don't see Cole for like two weeks. Nah, that don't sound like Cole. Something, something had to be going on. What, what happened? Coach like, yo, where Cole at? Where Cole at? This ain't like him. Guess where Cole was for those two weeks? In the gym, right? Cole was in Jerusalem studying the Bible. And he taught himself how to walk on water. So he was never caught slipping again. Nah, that's different. That's and dedication that's right there. That's when I knew. That's when I knew. That's when I knew. 